Hey, good morning, everyone. Um, still not a hundred percent back, but I'm I'm okay. Um, so Matt finally released 8.0, and let me tell you, it's pretty fantastic. Um, I'm a big fan. Um, I've got to see a lot of it during the alpha testing and the beta testing. Um, even though I was sick, I um, I didn't get a chance to do too much with it. But I did know some of the features were coming. I was watching. I was kind of. I didn't get to experiment as much as I normally do. So, um, <clears throat> I told everyone I was going to do an update on the bulk blog writer, and I was waiting for this update. And um, you'll understand why. Um, so, I'm sharing here his the change log, and if you go through and you read this here, it's it explains. <laughs> A lot and it's it's a lot of features behind the background have been done um, so building a CSV file in advance with all your personal outlines backgrounds keywords everything, what voices you want to be used. A lot has been added. Um, if you are using products, you can have your, your CTA on. Um, the other thing that he added too was um, if you've got a Pexels account and they're free, you can just get in there, get an API. You can put that in there as well. It also allows you to um, create an account uh, use your API access account to your WordPress and it will automatically upload to um, uh, your post that you want to choose, categories, subcategories, etc. So a lot was done in this update. Um, it is fantastic. It's it, a lot of work Matt did on this just in the background role. It's insane. I mean, the background uh, uh, programming is insane. So great job. Uh, kudos to him there. So once you open up the app, you're going to see a new interface here. Um, this is just open in the blog writer. Let me close this down here a little bit. So this is just for the blog writer, and you'll see that you have um, your SEO CSV disabled. But when you click that, it's going to open up this window here. Um, I already have this open in a window, so I'll show you. you. Click that, and that's going to bring you to this Google Sheet here. Now, it's got very clear, very explicit instructions on um, what you need to, how, how this needs to be formatted. And you'll go to Sheet 2. There's examples that are already all, uh, that are already in here that you can modify and and, and use as a template or a starting point to give you ideas on how to format your own. Um, and that will allow you to import and bring that good stuff into Zimwriter and do mass amounts of bulk. Um, I am going to have to add a whole thing in the course about this. This is what I was waiting for um, because it's so expansive and the changes are so many. Um, and trying to help people create a custom outline here is going to be part of it. One of the other new features that have been added, let me find this window and close it, is um, in the options menu, is um, the scraping surgeon. And what this does is it allows you to set up your own rules for a specific domain that you want to grab um, the the CSS information for. So if you want to grab an image out of there, you can do all that. So this allows you to, in your custom outlines, you can say, hey, listing your product number one, product number two, what have you. And if it comes from that domain, um, when it scrapes, it's automatically going to trigger, If again, if you have this as marked as a review, um, and it's going to trigger a different set of rules. 
Um, so when you're in the SEO blog writer, you'll see um, enable subheading backgrounds. Now, this changed, and we'll go into this more too. So you'll notice once you trigger your product outline for anything that you put into the, the surgeon, um, that domain matches, you can put your product in here. So by default, Matt has one in there already for Amazon. If you make that enabled here, so say you were doing the top three, since I'm, I did barbecues recently for my brother-in-law, um, top three, out, oh no, pizza makers, outdoor, outdoor pizza makers or something like that. You could do the top three and you can put each one of these in here and it will follow those rules. It's going to grab those images when it scrapes. It's going to grab that data, part of the reviews, all that good stuff and use that custom back outline. Now, here's something that, that I really appreciate that Matt put here in the uh, notes for the background. And a lot of people misunderstood about the, the difference between a global background and an individual background. <clears throat> you can have a global background about a topic that's very wide. And, and as long as AI knows about it, that's awesome. But if you're looking for something very specific, so when I'm writing like a news article, I will grab specifics and put that into the background. Some people want to put keywords in there, but that's not really the point of it. I mean, you can try that. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But you're trying to put valid information in there that AI may not know about specifics. It may know about the subject matter, but that's where you put the specifics you want it to cover. And that's where you get that really, truly personalized um, um, uh, content that way. Um, let's see what else. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. All sorts of wonderful, good stuff. And yes, you guys, please remember, always, there's always on this here, the secret training. <laughs> Click on that and it's going to bring you, Matt has extensive videos and walkthroughs and training to use each and every single function. Um, it's it's valid, wonderful. Go read it all. Um, go watch it all. You'll learn a lot of good stuff. Um, people ask why I always refer to Matt's stuff and not my own course. It's because, well, he knows it from his perspective, from the programmers and how he applies it. My course is different. My course actually focuses more on applying it from an SEO perspective and stuff like that. Completely different. So um, let's see what else. I'm trying to think. Covered that. What else do I need to bring up here? Um, oh, marketing tools. Also, I do appreciate that Matt uh, uh, threw my training course in here. Always big kudos and thank you for that. But you guys, this is a huge update. It's the biggest update since he created this. Just from the back end perspective, the front end perspective, everything you can do from applying your um, your custom outlines and now being able to do all of this in bulk and being able to scrape other sources import their images, create your links with your affiliate codes. I didn't really go into that, but there is so much that this brings. And trying to figure out how I'm going to segment it and cover this in each course, I mean, in the next portion of the course is quite the task. But I promise it's going to be about bulk writer. And um, I think I'm going to need a whole session maybe two just on the CSD file. Um, anyways, thank you all for watching, subscribing, liking, sharing, um, all that good stuff. Um, give Matt a big shout out. Go check out his channel, follow him. Um, if you're in the group, give him a big props for this update. It really, truly is expansive, and I can't believe he got that much done and. 30 days. I know everyone was like, oh, every month. Well, you know what? An extra 10 days worth every bit of it. So thank you for your hard work, Matt, and I will catch you all tomorrow.